Hello again. Um, what we're going to look at now is how you recharge the air cylinder of a Schneier pistol or some of the options available. Uh, as standard, um, when you buy your gun, you get this in the kit. Okay, this piece of kit there. And this would screw into the cylinder here. So you wouldn't have this whip on it, this piece of tubing, and you'd have to screw that into the bottle. The only problem is, in Austria they have a different standard than um, the UK. We're allowed a 300 bar bottle, which this is, they only get a 200. So if we screw this in, turn it on, the air will leak out all over. We need this thing here as well. Now should I do give you this bush, so just a piece of rubber, and that would sit on the end of there, and that would screw in the end of the bottle. So if you went to your local gun club, now you need to charge up one of your cylinders, you do get a spare one. You would have to take the fitting off the bottle, so you'd need two big spanners. You need to put this one on, then screw your cylinder on here, open the valve, fill your cylinder, turn it off, and then quickly unscrew it before any air leaks out. Okay, because um, it, it will discharge a little bit of air as you unscrew the cylinder from from this, as you want to get, you get a, a rush there you go, Psh! okay so you do lose a little bit. So that isn't convenient if you're at a gun club, they're not going to want you to start taking bits off their bottle. Most gun clubs you'll go to, most places you'll go, will have a whip on the end of the bottle with this quick release fitting on the end, you can see here, it's a little thing that pulls back, okay. So you need something that will go from this to this. So this is no good. We don't really want to be using this if we can. Now, there's a great little company out there, look at them spanners, called Best Fittings, and that's their card. And the address, or the web address, if you type in Best Fittings uh, and air gun accessories, you'll find them. But the web address is www.best-fittings.co.uk. Uh, and they should be able to sort you out. Now, the two parts you need for a Steyr, um, if you've got other guns, you, there are fittings for other guns, but the two parts you need for a Steyr would be part number uh, 03S2ML03 and 02B3ML01. That is a Steyr 1 8 BSP charging adapter, which is the brass part, this bit here. And the other end, the quick couple of plug, that piece. And in between the two is a washer that you get. Now the total cost of that is £24. Okay, but in convenience it saves you a fortune. So that is really, now they are quite well made, but it does save you a lot of messing about. And all that does, with the quick fit in now, is pull the collar back, put that in there. That is now connected. Now the beauty of this, it's got a hole up the centre, and the way this fitting now works is like any other PSP gun. We'll now screw the cylinder on here and you won't get a discharge of air. That's now connected. On the end here, there is a gauge, an air gauge. Now most people won't go off them, they'll go for the gauge on the bottle. It is more accurate. I've actually put some tape across it, so you can see there because my uh, BSA takes 230 bar and I've just put tape across so once the needle gets to that I can see even without my glasses on that it's at the right pressure. With this I have to be careful, the 200 bar is just before that. So now, whenever you're putting air into a cylinder, slowly. If you do it fast, you get a build up of heat, the air expands and you get the wrong reading. You'll think you've got enough pressure and it won't be enough. So slowly, slowly does it. So I'll gently open the valve And there we go, it didn't need much actually. And that's now up to the 200 bar. And it is also on the gauge there. Okay. At this point now, on the using this system, you'd have to unscrew this quickly, you get a rush of air. However, with this best fitting system, and I'll release here the air, that's in the pipe, And now I could just unscrew the cylinder without a rush of air and the full pressure is maintained. 
So that's a really simple system. This is very important, this valve. If you've not used um, PCP guns before, that you charge, you release, you, once you close the valve, you release the, the valve there, let the excess pressure out of the pipe, and that, then you can disconnect from your gun. Okay. Now, this fitting here, different guns have different fill probes, uh, and I'm going to show you one. I'm going to do another, well, I'll do another one now, another video of a filling up a BSA gun with its own fill probe. It's a very simple system, best fittings. So if you've got your Steyr, and that means now with this, I could take this part now to the gun club. This part here, I'll get a nice close look at it. I can take that to the gun club. Uh, if my cylinders start running over there, I can quickly fill it without having to do anything to their gas bottle. Uh, start on screwing bits or anything like that, I can just plug and play. And that's simple. Any questions, just ask. Now what I've, what I've done inside the box itself, um, inside the, the storage box, I've still got there's my space for my spare cylinder. That's the space there for the Steyr fill probe. And what I've done, I've cut a bit of the foam out here, um, which will now take the new fill probe there, like that. So that's all now set for go to the uh, go out shooting, etc. Very simple. Make life easy. Uh, one thing to bear in mind with these fill probes is there is a rubber seal there, and I'm not sure if you know, but with all uh, air guns etc., you can get a um, it's a silicone based lubricant that you put on. It's only a tiny bit, and it keeps the seals in good condition. It also helps it to seal properly. Uh, and you just put a smear of that on there. It's not very dear to buy. You get it in a little pack that you just burst and uh, squeeze a bit out. So just bear that in mind, make sure you use the correct lubricant. And then, what I tend to do when I fill probes um, is keep them uh, in the plastic bag so that any grease that's on them doesn't spread to other things that you might have around uh, if it's falling about in your gun bag. Uh, 